then the next one is factors affecting soil temperature so in the previous class i have discussed the importance of soil temperature now let us see the factors affecting soil temperature here we are having two factors the first one is meteorological factors the second one is soil factors so meteorological factors means these are the things solar radiation wind evaporation and condensation and the last one is rainfall or precipitation in soil factors we are having aspect and slope soil texture tillage and tilth organic matter and soil moisture so let us see the meteorological factors the first one is solar radiation how solar radiation affects the soil temperature we all know the meaning of solar radiation so the light the heat and light which is emitted from the sun solar radiation the incoming solar radiation that hits the soil and it will heat up the soil immediately see when we compare the air temperature and soil temperature air temperature takes some time to heat up but when we look at the soil whenever soil got attacked by the solar radiation we can see immediate changes in the soil so soil temperature so when sun hits the soil immediately we can see heating up of soil so soil is having more absorbed of heat so this heat will affect the crop then <coughs> that crop affect the crop means it may be in the positive way or negative way so the optimum temperature will always help the crop if it is less than that it will uh, cause harm to the crop or more than that also it may cause harm to the crop next one is wind see wind is something like air temperature wind is something like air temperature only but now when this is just imagine this is saw surface of the soil on the surface of the soil wind is blowing towards one direction and this wind is having a particular temperature so when this wind is blowing from one place to the other place on particular surface of the soil in that particular location the temperature which is present in this air will be transferred to that particular soil so indirectly this wind also is getting affected the soil so this is about wind factor then next one is evaporation and condensation you know the meaning of evaporation evaporation means loss of water from the surface of the soil is called evaporation so when evaporation after we give for example let us take in the cropped field where we are raising the crop in the cropped field after we give the irrigation we see evaporation as well as transpiration both to together we call evapotranspiration so when we look at the evaporation after we give irrigation immediately some amount of evaporation is taking place from the soil so while evaporation is taking place so from the soil then we can reduce the temperature of the soil when evaporation is happening so temperature of the soil will come down when evaporation happens then condensation hope you know the meaning of condensation condensation means instead of going forward backward that means turning of water into the vapor instead of that in reverse vapor is turning back to the water and water turning back to the ice that we call condensation in condensation also when vapor turns back into water in the soil i am telling inside the soil because of high temperature till then the water may be turning into the vapor but because of low temperature or because of no escape of vapor from outside the soil again that vapor will get stick into the another soil particle and as time passes that those water molecules join together again and they will form again water back that we call condensation this is all about when temperature increases condensation increases so when temperature increases condensation will happen in the soil then next one is rainfall the other name of rainfall is precipitation i'll explain when that particular topic comes what's the difference between the precipitation and rainfall so actually we call precipitation for all the in the in the precipitation only the subdivided into different types so among the one among them one is rainfall so you all know the meaning of rainfall so based on the water droplet it will be so when that particular rain droplet or water droplet is having that particular temperature the same temperature when it falls on the soil soil temperature also will get affected because most of the rains will be cool but during the summer season or in the warm climate regions the rain droplet temperature may be varied it may be little warm that warmness which is present in the rain water droplet when it hits the ground and when it go into the ground infiltration 
and when it go into the ground the soil temperature can be changed by this rainfall water so these are the four factors which are affecting the soil temperature these all together we call meteorological factors next let us see soil factor soil factor the first one is aspect and slope aspect and slope means at what level the slope is in what angle the slope is and all so for example let us take the slope may be some 40 degrees slant let us take example i am telling 40 degrees slant so here when we look at the sun insulation or the sun rays which are striking on the surface of the soil at what angle are they striking are they striking in the southern angle or northern angle if they are striking to the southern angle then they are striking into one direction if they are striking into the northern angle they will be striking the other side of the mountain let us take this as a mountain and when the sun, sunshine rays are striking one side or one direction that may be southern side and sometimes sun may strike in northern side when northern side sun rays are striking this side alone the temperature of the soil will increase but the other side sun rays cannot hit so this side soil temperature will be less but this side soil temperature will be very high in case in other case when soil sun hits the mountain the southern side then this side temperature will be high and this side temperature will be less for example because i am telling but when we come to the larger area it will be varied based on the sunshine comes the direction and also the slope of the land and all so this is another factor which causes soil temperature then soil texture <clears throat> in soil texture we see different types of soils are there sandy soil is there clay soil is there silt soil is there which soil absorbs more heat so always remember black body absorbs more heat and light body absorbs less heat reflection will be very high in light body so but <clears throat> when it comes to the temperature in light soils always remember light soils heats up very quickly and cools down very quickly but when it comes to the black soil black soil absorbs the heat and it cools down very slowly so that is the difference between the light soil and black soil so here in soil texture based on the texture it will be varied and the color of the texture i mean the soil will be varied based accordingly soil temperature will be then the next one is tillage and tilth you know the meaning of tillage and tilth hope so the meaning of tillage is the mechanical manipulation of soil is called tillage and tilth means the end product of tillage that means we are bringing how can we know that particular soil is done the tillage means the equal proportion of macro pores and micro pores 50 percent macro pores should be 50 percent micro pores should be so when we have equal proportion then that soil is well tilled that we call tilt when we have 50 percent macro pores 50 percent micro pores in equal proportion that we call tilt the soil is at tilt condition so tillage and tilt how it affects for example after i plow the field so soil particles will be get loosened that's the reason why we are going for plowing one of the one of the reason so when solar radiation comes and hits the soil particle what will happen this particular soil particles will get heats up wherever they are exposing to the sunlight the particles which all are exposing to the sunlight but we are loose we have loosened the soil already so this soil particle which got heats up this cannot be transferred into the another soil particle because they are very loose so condensation you all know the meaning of conduction convection and radiation so here conduction in conduction what is the thing from one material to the other material by touching heat will be transferred so when the soils are soil particles are very loose and the soil particle cannot transfer the heat into the other soil particles so the lower depths of the soil particles cannot be heated up well as like an in untilled soil that means the unplowed soils there all the soil particles are gathered together and they are very tight in nature so from the surface of the soil whatever the heat it is receiving immediately it can be transferred to the lower depths but in tilled soils uh, there because of the loosening of soil particles that uh, temperature cannot be moved into the another the deeper levels of the soil because the soil particles are not well sticked to one another that is the reason here 
the more you go depth to set a depth the temp temperature of the soil will be less but in unplowed soils any other soil the more you dig out the soil you feel the more temperature that's why the more you dig the pit into the soil that you can feel more warm then the next one is organic matter you all know organic matter is in dark in color when we add much amount of organic matter into the soil it will help the soil to hold more amount of water when it holds more amount of water what will happen it will maintain the soil temperature so while it is maintaining the soil when we have the enough soil moisture in the soil ultimately it will bring down the temperature of the soil in that case organic matter will help the soil temperature to brings down then the next one is soil moisture so soil moisture already in the organic matter i said when we have more amount of soil moisture in the soil ultimately it will bring down the temperature of the soil but here one thing we have to remember soil moisture means in, in what source it, we are getting that from what source maybe it will maybe like precipitation where the temperature of the rain droplet will be depends here in the soil temperature where if the rain water droplet temperature is high then soil temperature also may be increased if rain drop water droplet temperature is less then again soil temperature also can be brought down so soil moisture plays major role not only in the soil temperature also and also in plant temperature we, we, when soil moisture is having more temperature when plant absorb that same moisture that same temperature will be transformed to the transfer to the plant too then the next one is variations in soil temperature already i said variations of air temperature two types are there diurnal variation and seasonal variation in air temperature same way we are having here also two in soil temperature daily so variation in soil temperature and seasonal variations in soil temperature daily variations in soil temperature means already i said when soil heats up immediately when sun during the sun, when sun rises and slowly soil also increases its temperature by the time sun sets along with that soil sunset temperature soil also will be coming down with its own temperature but it will not maintain the temperature what it actually got in the afternoon but when the temperature sun set is happening along with that the temperature of the soil also gradually decreases but during the night time sometimes temperature may be high in some soils especially in the deeper layers of the soil temperature will be varied and also it depends especially on say i'm talking about daily temperature variation soil temperature variation where we are raising different crops in different fields for example if i if i am raising close growing crop like pulses groundnut any other crop which is growing very close to the soil those crops will cover the entire land area of the particular field and they'll be acting as a mulching and they'll be giving the shade effect to the soil where soil cannot absorb enough solar radiation which is actually hits the soil so that's where where crop reduces the soil temperature so daily temperature will be varied as such but if some crops will be there where they are very broad space like cotton and maize or sorghum which are little broader spaced crops broad spaced crops where temperature raises and when solar radiation is high some amount of solar radiation can easily hit directly into the ground and temperature can be increased so likewise daily temperature will change based on the crop and also not only that based on the day time and night time in particular during summer season again temperature will be varied during winter season temperature will be there varied that we discuss in seasonal soil temperature variation so in daily temperature variation from the crop to crop it will be varied and also from soil to soil it will be varied and also in that particular day how much temperature actually given into the soil from the sun that also will be depend so every day variation we find the one maximum temperature and one minimum soil temperature the soil temperature we measure by using the instrument called soil thermometer will be having three types of thermometers based on the depth not only three how much depth you want you can have that accordingly you can insert the soil thermometer into the soil and we can get the temperature of the soil so soil thermometer is the instrument that we use to measure soil temperature then the next one is seasonal variation meaning of seasonal variation you all know that the a temperature what we studied same thing here also 
due based on the season soil temperature will be varied during the winter season soil heats up slowly because of the less incoming solar radiation temperature and during summer season incoming solar radiation power is high so in during summer season soil temperature will be little high but in rainy season soil temperature will be less because often we get rains and the rain water will bring down the temperature of the soil but though sometimes rain may not happen but still the rain moisture whatever the rain comes so far that moisture will be remained in the soil that will remain the soil temperature as such sometimes it may rise but again when rain comes again it will fall down so seasonal temperature variation also will be there because of different temperatures so this these are the things which we have to discuss in the soil temperature so in this lecture we have seen factors which are affecting soil temperature from which meteorological factors and soil factors apart from that we have seen variations in soil temperature first one is daily variation second one is seasonal variation in the last class we have seen the importance of soil temperature so these are the things we have to learn from soil temperature thank you